where did the Big Bang happen? That's something that's just kind of hard to wrap your head around. But it actually happened everywhere. So let's explain this a little bit further. The universe is a giant swirl of stars, galaxies, planets, black holes, and quasars, and all these random things. And one of the interesting things about all of these things is that most of them are moving away from us. And we know this because of something called the Doppler effect. What the Doppler effect is, is that we test and see how much light is compressed or decompressed. When you have a lot of light that gets de that gets compressed, it turns kind of bluish. And when you get it decompressed, where it spreads out a little bit further, it turns more towards the red end of the spectrum. And just a really quick example having to do with real life, instead of light waves, you guys might know something a little bit more specific having to do with sound waves. So if you've ever seen a car, and you have the car that's, you know, kind of down the road down there, and it's coming towards you, when you first hear it, you start you start to hear it kind of as, as a low pitch, and then as it gets closer, it gets, it gets higher. There's a higher pitch, and then what happens is, is those sound waves are actually getting compressed, because the car is moving cl closer and closer to us, so the sound waves are getting compressed and getting higher, higher pitched. And then, as soon as the a uh, car gets just past you, you notice it goes and it actually starts getting lower pitched. So what happens is, is those sound waves are actually getting decompressed once they get past you. The car is moving faster and faster that way and the sound waves actually have more time to spread out before they get into your ear. So the same thing happens with light waves. Imagine a light wave coming towards you. If it's coming, if you have something coming towards you, it's all that's also emitting light. The light's actually going to get compressed and it's going to turn blue. And then, as it goes further away from us, something that goes further away from us, it's actually going to get decompressed and turn more towards the red spectrum. So, what does this have to do with the Big Bang? Well, when we look into the universe, into the, all the billions upon billions of galaxies that we see out there, most things are red shifting. So, everything's moving away from us, which we just think is kind of weird. Why would everything be moving away from us? Well, if we actually go back in time, and we have everything moving away from us, eventually, go back in time, everything's going to start coming towards us, and eventually converge on one point, and that one point is Earth. Earth could be the center of the universe. But wait, there's actually a problem with that. If we go to another galaxy, a million light years away, or even a billion light years away, and we do the exact same thing. We notice that everything is going to be red shifting away from that person on that other different planet. And if we go back in time again, everything's going to converge onto that point. So that point was the center of the universe. And if you do that at any point in the entire universe, they're all the center of the universe. So I'm just going to leave you with that note. The Big Bang didn't have to have a center of initiation. It happened everywhere.